Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog on the channel and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is day three. Okay, so for today's vlog, I wanted to film an updated what I eat in a day. And this is kind of piggybacking off of yesterday's video. I posted a weight loss update and shared all of my tips and things that I did to help me lose 20 pounds. And a lot of you guys asked for meal ideas, so that's why I wanna do this. I wanna just show you guys what I kind of eat on a regular basis and just what my eating habits are during the day and give you guys some meal ideas and things that I ate during this time to lose 20 pounds. Right now I'm gonna make breakfast and then I usually just have three meals a day and then one snack whenever I get a little bit hungry, usually between lunch and dinner. So I will just check in periodically anytime I make a meal today because I am working today. I have editing and a lot of admin stuff to do. So in between my work day, I'm going to obviously cook and show you guys my kind of eating routine. And also what I want to do is, you know, when I'm making my meal for each time of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I'll show you guys what I'm making, but then I'll also give you guys more ideas of what I eat. So like, for example, right now I'm making breakfast. I'll show you guys what I'm having for breakfast today. And then I'll also give you guys more meal ideas. I'll just show pictures um, because I have a lot of go-to meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner but I'm not gonna eat all of them and make all of them in this video. So I'll kind of talk a little bit more um, about what other meals I'm eating. And also during Vlogmas, I you know vlog everything. So I'll be vlogging more food videos and maybe I'll do another what I eat in a day if you guys like this one. But with that being said, I'm gonna make some breakfast now. I'm starving, I just had a workout and I usually, for the majority of the week, I will work out first thing in the morning when I wake up and I'll work out on an empty stomach um, just because you know I don't like to work out when I have food in my stomach. The biggest thing with my breakfast, and I mentioned this in yesterday's video, is that I try to get a large amount of protein in my meal so that it keeps me full all morning. So for today's breakfast, I'm going to be making my version of the Starbucks spinach feta breakfast wrap. It's really easy to make and all the ingredients are like basic everyday ingredients. So I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients and then I will get down to making it. So this is everything I'm using today for the wrap. I have my liquid egg whites. These ones are from Aldi, pretty much everything is. And then the feta cheese the spinach i have this mix of spinach and arugula so i'll just throw you know both of them in there and then i have sun dried tomatoes these are halves so i'm going to just chop them up a little bit and just throw it all in together and then for wraps i'm using these keto friendly wraps these are only 60 calories so this is a pretty low calorie breakfast i'm also going to be adding a couple turkey sausages i love these for two of them they're 130 calories and also 13 grams of protein. So it's low cal and also this is like my source of protein. This is kind of what keeps me full for a long time. And um, I usually make breakfast sandwiches with these, but I'll put these on the side. Like I'll have these on the side of my wrap. For three tablespoons has five grams of protein. So I'm gonna just start off by chopping up the sun-dried tomatoes. And then I'm gonna just basically throw everything in a pan, kind of like making an omelet. I try to like get as much of the oil off as I can and I usually just use two pieces and I slice them up in small pieces. Okay, and then we're gonna add everything to a pan and for non-sticking spray, I'm just gonna use some olive oil spray. Okay, first the egg whites, make sure you shake it up. And three tablespoons is 25 calories. So I measure because I just want to keep track of how many calories I'm intaking. And I do about maybe six to nine. So that's about 75 calories. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. Okay, I just put everything on it in the middle, the tomatoes, the spinach, and then I add the feta cheese last. For the feta cheese, I don't really measure. I kind of just do a little, a little bit. So after adding everything, I just let it cook through for a couple minutes and then I'll add it to the wrap and then I will put the wrap back on the pan to warm it up. Oh, and I can't forget, I also add a little bit of salt and pepper. It's basically just like making an omelet. So after a while, I'll like kind of 
flip it as nicely as I can. I'm always bad at this part. I am not that great at making omelets because I always break the egg part. Ugh. There we go. So when that's finished, we're gonna get my wrap ready and then I'm going to just wrap it up, put it back on the stove. I mean, honestly, if you don't even want the tortilla, you could just eat it like this as a little egg white spinach omelet. Okay, this one is gonna be really filled. So while I'm waiting for the wrap to just cook on the stove for like five minutes, I'm gonna take my greens and wellness shot. So these are the greens that I take. They're from Athletic Greens. I am so obsessed with this stuff. I've been taking it every single morning for maybe the past month and a half. And I really have noticed such a change in my overall well-being. I have so much energy. I feel more focused throughout the day. I don't get as tired and I just feel a lot more light and less bloated. Um, it helps aid with digestion. It just has so many benefits. So I'll link it in my description if you want to learn more. So I'm going to do a scoop of that in water. And then I also add a drop of the AG D3 plus K2 drops. And then I also take my wellness shot, which I've shown many times in the vlogs before. This is ginger, lemon, orange, turmeric, cayenne, and black pepper. And I grind it all together and I make my own homemade wellness shots and I love ginger you know it's really good for immunity it helps with anti-inflammatory and it also aids in digestion so I've been making these myself for maybe the past three months and again I've noticed an overall change in my well-being I knock on wood I need to find some wood to knock on I knock on wood have not gotten sick yet this fall and I usually get sick every single October knock on wood so I don't know if this helped contribute to it because it helps with your immune system but I love them and I can't go a day without taking one and if you want to know the recipe vlogmas day one I made them in that vlog and I will link that video in my description so you can follow along to see how to make it mm. Ugh. I always chase it with water and I just do one scoop of the greens and one drop of the D3K2. Here's your daily reminder kids, don't forget to eat your greens whether it's in vegetable form or juice form. Cheers everyone. Oh, that's the good stuff. I also sliced up an apple. There is breakfast. Looks and smells so amazing. The most important part of every meal, my water. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Mm. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast and then go about my day and then I will check in probably the next time I eat, which will be lunch, but I am so full right now. That's why I try to get a lot of protein in the morning because it really is so satisfying and fuels me for the day. I feel like I can go about my day with all the energy from the food. So yes, I will check in with you guys next time I eat. making my coffee of the day. I'm very simple and kind of basic when it comes to coffee. Sometimes I'll make a really nice fancy iced coffee, but for the most part, I like my coffee hot and I have an espresso. I like a bunch of different pods, but the main ones I like are vanilla. I also really like the rich chocolate flavor and then the caramel hazelnut. And then I also really like the gingerbread flavor, uh, the seasonal flavor for Christmas. So. That's pretty much what I drink and I just add creamer. I'm using this real uh, milk and cream from Natural Bliss and sometimes I add a little bit of almond milk or sometimes if I don't want to use creamer, I'll use almond milk instead. And then I always add a scoop of these collagen peptides from Sports Research and it is unflavored. It has 10 grams of organic collagen peptides per serving. It supports hair, skin, and joints and nails. So it's just nice to have, you know, an extra boost of collagen every day. And then I also do a little sprinkle of cinnamon on top. And that's really it. Like I said, pretty basic, but um, it's the way I like my coffee. Mm. 
for a sip of coffee of the day just hits so, so good. Okay, this is unrelated to food, but I need to open my advent calendars for day three and then also day two because I didn't open them in yesterday's video. We'll start off with the YSL one and so we'll do day two waterproof eye pencil. I like the size of this. This will be nice for travel or to put in my purse. Day three, we have a little perfume, black opium. I love this scent i have the full size version oh my gosh such a cute little bottle look how tiny and cute that is it's literally like the same bottle as the full size one the mac advent calendar so day two is a little lip glass and it's in the color oh baby it's like a really pretty uh like copper kind of brownish color i'd say more copper there's that shade so pretty and then day three, Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color. This is a red color, really beautiful shade of red. And then the L'Occitane Advent Calendar. Day two, Body Milk. I love their body milks and shower oils. They smell so good. Day three is a bath and shower gel cherry blossom the nespresso advent calendar i've been bad at this advent calendar because usually what i do is i open up the day that it is and then i like make the coffee with the pod but i already had my coffee today so i won't be uh drinking anymore but let's just see what pods we have so we have day two here and this one is Altisio Espresso Shot. And this one is Intenso. I've tried this one before. It is like a really bold flavor. And I totally forgot about this advent calendar. This one is from Bare Minerals. They sent this like a month ago, so I forgot I had this. But this is the 12 Days of Joy advent calendar. It's just 12 days. So let's open them up. Here's day one. And then this is... A, another eyeliner the mineralist eyeliner uh, day two is here and we have an eye color and it's kind of sparkly and gold I'm not sure if that's a powder or yeah it says for eye color I love gold eyeshadow okay and then day three is right here oh lip gloss oh so this is a full-size product I'm glad to see that and this is the mineralist lip gloss balm it's in the shade Serenity, oh, Sincerity. And it's like a rosy pink color. Oh, that's pretty. That one there on the bottom. Okay, so that is all for the advent calendars. I'm all caught up. Oh my God, the sun just set so quick. When I turned the camera on, the sun was blaring in here, but now it's getting dark. So right now it's um, 3.30. I'm not that hungry yet. Um, so my schedule for eating kind of goes a little bit later. Uh, meaning I start to eat a little bit later in the day. I usually eat breakfast around 11 o'clock. Um, I think it was 11.30 when I ate. Now it's 3.30 and I'm really not even that hungry, but I still wanna you know, get my three meals a day. So I'll make my salad probably in 30 minutes at four o'clock. That's gonna be my late lunch. And then dinner, I'll probably eat later around like seven o'clock, maybe even eight o'clock. Um, Cause I am a night owl, I stay, I stay up pretty late. That's why I eat dinner a little bit late at seven or eight. Cause I usually stay up till like midnight. Right now I'm just sitting here um, I'm editing Vlogmas Day 2, which is the how I lost weight. I had a little bit of anxiety earlier, but I am soaking on a lemon right now. So that's a tip if you have anxiety. And also anxiety is a topic that I should talk about in a whole other video. And I think I will because a few of you guys have asked me to talk about it. But I do have anxiety and I get it pretty often. So usually something that helps me to cope with it and to like help calm me down is sucking on a lemon. It kind of just like shocks your system. So that was very random, but I just wanted to mention that in case you were wondering why a lemon is sitting on my desk. All right, I'm gonna keep working. I'll check in with you guys for lunch. Okay guys, so I'm now gonna make my lunch. It's kind of a late lunch. It's like 4.30 now. It is, it's dark outside, but um, like I said, I was full for the whole day. So I'm going to make a Mediterranean bowl for my lunch. It's a chicken Mediterranean bowl. And this is so easy to make. It's really quick too. And it's one of my go-to lunches. So I'm gonna take the baby spinach and arugula Again, that's gonna be my base and then I have a chicken breast here I'm gonna chop this up into 
um, cubes and then season it with salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. And I'm going to grill that on the stove. And then I also have this lettuce here. I'm just using this because I've had this for a few days now and I need to use that before it goes bad. So I'm gonna just have like a different mix of greens. And then for vegetables, I'm gonna chop up a cucumber, red onion, these tomatoes, and that's all for my vegetables. And then for sauces, I'm gonna take some cucumber dill tzatziki sauce. This is from Aldi. And then I'm also going to be taking a scoop of roasted garlic hummus and gonna do a little bit of pesto like on the side. So we'll chop the veggies, assemble the bowl, cook the chicken and it's a really nice, quick, easy, and nutritious lunch. I don't like to waste dishes and I don't like to wash that many dishes. So I'm gonna just use one cutting board. So that's why I'm gonna do the vegetables first and then I'll uh, dice up the chicken last. Look how fresh and crisp that lettuce looks. I'm gonna just take a little bit of the ends and I'll wash them before I add it in. those right on top this is a really thick cucumber I'm gonna kind of slice it into little cubes right. and add that I like to kind of separate it into sections So that's all for the veggies. I'm gonna set that aside and now we're going to cut and season and cook the chicken. Hey Alexa, what are my notifications? What are your notifications? From Amazon shopping, a shipment has arrived. Yay! Okay, I always slice these chicken breasts in half the long way because they're pretty thick. And then I season it with Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. And I just do it right on the board and I mix it here. Because again, like I said, I try to limit the amount of dishes I use. And I cook it in either olive oil or avocado oil. So our chicken is cooked. I'm gonna just add that into the salad and I don't use all of it. I usually just do like half of this and I save the other half for the next day. So I'll probably have another salad for lunch tomorrow. Now I'm gonna add my sauces and finishing touches. So I probably do a tablespoon of each and I don't use any dressing. I just use these sauces as the dressing. Bornis. I have Noel stuck in my head. You know that Christmas song? That's like my favorite Christmas song. I have more of this because it's like pretty low calorie. Okay, and then our pesto. I use the pesto sparingly because it's pretty high in fat because um, it does have a lot of oil in it. It has 18 grams of fat for one fourth cup. So I just take like a little tiny bit. My favorite pesto is the one from Costco. That's the one I normally use, but I haven't been to Costco in a while, so I just picked this up yesterday from the grocery store. This one will just kind of drizzle all over. Speaking of pesto, have you guys seen that girl on TikTok? And she was like, call me crazy, but I don't like store-bought pesto. And then it started a whole thing on TikTok of everyone stitching her and they were telling their like crazy stories. That was the funniest trend ever. Anyway, I'm gonna finish off with just a little bit of feta but that's it and then the finishing touches i just put a little lemon in the middle to make it all pretty and that is my mediterranean chicken bowl it is very filling i will probably be full for another few hours after this but i just love how easy it is to make and how satisfying it is and just all the flavors got to give you guys a better view view from the top but that's what it looks like so bon appetit to me, my drink of choice for pretty much every meal, lunch and dinner, aside from water, is sparkling water. I've never been a huge fan of soda, but I do like the sensation of carbonation, as funny as that sounds, but I love the bubbly sparkling water, the lime flavored.
Okay, so I forgot that I wanted to do this, but when I was making each meal, I also wanted to say other meals that I eat during the time of the day. So for breakfast, you guys saw me make the spinach feta wrap. That's one of my go-to breakfasts. And another go-to breakfast of mine is just a plain old breakfast sandwich with the light English muffin, a fried egg, and those turkey sausage patties that I showed earlier today that I ate. It's about 300 calories and about like 26 grams of protein, I believe. So another really good filling breakfast. And then another type of meal I like to make is a piece of sourdough toast with avocado. So plain old avocado toast, but with a fried egg on it. And again, the little sausage patties on the side or some sort of sausage. I also like chicken apple sausages, especially the Gouda cheese ones from the Target Good and Gather line. Oh my God, amazing. And rarely I crave sweet things in the mornings. I really crave savory things. So that's why the majority of my breakfasts are savory. But if I am craving kind of something sweet in the morning for breakfast, I like to eat oatmeal and I use steel cut oats. I add a little bit of almond milk and some honey and I mix it all together and it tastes really good. And then I'll top it up with some fruit like bananas and strawberries, some chia seeds, coconut flakes and that is another really sweet yummy breakfast i like to make so that's what i like to normally eat for breakfast and then for lunches as you guys saw i made that mediterranean chicken bowl i'll usually make salads for lunch that's kind of my go-to and i always put chicken on my salads or sometimes i'll do shrimp like grilled shrimp and the lettuce and all the vegetables like you guys saw and the dressings that i usually put on my salads are from this line called g hughes these are sugar-free dressings and they taste amazing. It doesn't even taste like there's no sugar, but they're also low in calories. It has zero carbs, gluten-free, and no high fructose corn syrup. And I got these at Harris Teeter, but I do believe they sell them at other grocery stores. I'm sure you can look it up online and see where they're sold. But yeah, for lunch, I'll do bowls or salads. Um, and then another go-to lunch of mine is tuna because it is low-cal but high protein. It's again very filling. I also like to eat chicken Caesar wraps for lunch or buffalo chicken wraps. And again, I just use some grilled chicken and I put uh, some low-fat light Caesar dressing and I wrap it with lettuce and I use one of the low-carb high protein wraps. And that's another really good and quick easy lunch. For dinner, I'm gonna make dinner soon, but um, I'll just go ahead and say other dishes I like to eat for dinner. So fish is one of my favorite types of protein to eat. I'm obsessed with salmon. I like to make my air fryer salmon bites. And I make that dish maybe like once a week. So I've made that in the vlog so many times before. And again, I like making bowls for dinner as well. I'll, you know, grill some chicken, have some sort of vegetable on the side, and then always rice. I need to have my rice. Um, so I like to, again, have a balance of healthy carbs, healthy fats, protein, and veggies in each meal. I've been obsessed with making healthy lasagna soup the past month or month and a half. I actually started eating that when I started losing weight, so I feel like that has really helped because it's so high in protein. It keeps me full all night long and prevents me from late night snacking because I'm never hungry at night anymore after dinner. I like making chickpea pasta and using like a healthy sauce. My dinners pretty much change a lot, so I'm gonna have to film another one of these videos because there's a lot of different dinners that I make that I'm not thinking of right now. It's six o'clock right now. I'll probably start cooking dinner in an hour, maybe eat at 7.30 or 8.00 and then that'll be probably my last meal of the day. And then if I do have a sweet tooth, I don't always eat like a dessert after dinner, but if I have a sweet tooth, I usually eat like Greek yogurt and um, eat some fruit to help satisfy my sweet craving. So I'll just see how I feel after dinner if I um, am hungry or if I wanna even eat anything else. So I was gonna make dinner, but then I remembered that I made that big pot of lasagna soup the other day, and I did vlog that, that was a couple days ago. So I need to finish this up. It's still a lot left, and it's so good. I never get tired of it. But if you wanna see me make this soup, you can go watch Vlogmas Day 1, I'll link it below. And I'll also link the recipe that I used for this soup. I like to add a couple scoops of ricotta cheese and then some fresh basil to the soup. I just like kind of pick and 
rip them apart and throw it in. I absolutely love the taste and smell and flavor of fresh basil, so I like to put a ton. It tastes a lot better than it looks, but so, so good. I love soup. I could eat soup every day. So I'm finishing off my day with a cup of tea. I'm drinking chamomile lavender tea and I always add a little splash of milk and some honey and it's just such a delicious and really warm and cozy drink. I'm also snacking on these. These are honey roasted cashews just to kind of satisfy my sweet craving. I just have a few bites and I like to eat these with my tea because it tastes really good together. But that's pretty much all I eat in a day. Not every day is the same, but this is typically kind of my eating habits. Like I eat three meals a day. Sometimes I'll eat a snack, but today I wasn't really hungry for a snack because every meal was just really high in protein. I am so repetitive, but I'm being so serious like that really is what helps me to not overeat and what keeps me full. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some ideas. I'll do another one of these videos if you guys want another one and want to see more meal ideas, but I will also just be vlogging normally what I eat in my everyday day in the life vlogs. So definitely subscribe for more content like this. Good night, I'm gonna enjoy my tea. I'm watching Modern Family, but I think I'm gonna try to find a Christmas movie to watch because I really have not been watching any Christmas movies and I just need to get into the spirit now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next vlog. Bye.